77. Oh, and the 22, Connor Daly gets into the back of the 577, and we've got a caution on the speedway. You know what happens when... What up, guys? We are at Bristol Motor Speedway, and we are racing 25 Ford Crown Victorias, 100 laps at this epic NASCAR track. We've got drivers like Ryan Anderson, Roman Atwood, Matt from Demo Ranch, the whole cleater crew. It's going to be an epic day, and this is my car. We finally got a wrap on it. We ran her in Indy. She does really good at these big tracks. It's geared a little different. Other than like most of these P71 cruisers that are geared for, you know, kind of like some street driving, this one's like a highway detective cruiser. So it really loves these longer tracks like Indianapolis and Bristol. Freedom Factory, not so much, but I'm hoping that with the rear gear in this car, I'll be able to lay out some solid competition today. And my plan today is just to win. I, don't know, I want to get that first place. It's going to be uh, so fun. I've been I've been doing really good with hanging with the guys that are up front. As long as I can stay consistent and not blow through my tires and have to go in for a new set or cause a caution or something like that, I'd be really happy. And I kind of want to keep the wrap fresh. I've been catching a lot of heat for, for taking other guys out and doing a lot of damage to my car. But hey, you know, they take care of us. I want to take care of my car today. So let's get to it. If you hate your neighbors and your HOA and you want to move to Florida, then you need to hear this message. If you're looking for a neighborhood to keep you away from pesky HOAs like me, then hit up my wife, Caroline Mitchell. She's a realtor in Southwest Florida. And if you're tired of those cold, long, grueling winters in the Midwest that I grew up in and know so well, then she can help you find a dream home with maybe a little piece of land, a shop, a nice little house that you can visit during the winter or even live full time. Come down and join in on the Freedom Factory events, build a burnout car, start doing some racing with us because we're having our time of our lives down here and we want you to join in on the fun. <laughs> <laughs> One modification I had to make to my car before the race is last race somehow I lost both of my mirrors. So we've got new mirrors going on each side because we're gonna be hauling the mail around this track and I gotta see who's next to me before I dive up into a wall or come down low or make a lane change. So. A little bit of a safety improvement. Hurts the arrow, but better safety. Got it. Let's help me get the speed right. Got it. Nice. There he goes. Come on, Rick. Come on, with it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Is he all right? Finally, in the cars, about ready to do our qualifying laps. To start off, we have a 10 pound bottle of nitrous with a 50 shot. The car has been tuned and we're going to go do three qualifying laps of groups of four. In my qualifying group, I believe I have Ryan Anderson who drives Son of a Digger. And then we have Roman Atwood and Matt Demo. So uh, we have a little bet going on on the push up So we'll see who loses that battle. But I think they're going to start qualifying right now. I'm going to get my seatbelts on and get this thing ripping. I just got word that I qualified number 12, which is above middle of the pack. I'll take that. I'm not sure if it's going to be an inverted field or not, but we've got like 28 cars racing here today. So, hey, I'm a little bit better than above, I'm a little above average. So we'll take that. We'll get the car in line and do some racing. It's fast out there. Better here. Where is this guy at? Hey, there he is, Dr. Parker Mitchell, the only doctor racing in today's race. And you got a fresh wrap on your car. Tell me about that. Yeah, so it's expired off of Alex Bowman's car. So we did my initials RPM down the side, number seven for, you know, our grandfather who used to race. So we got it in our blood. We're going to go for the win. As long as I qualify before DeBerti, which I did, I'm, I'm excited for today. Yeah, DeBerti is probably the most prepared guy here. I was told that he did 5,000 laps in his simulator last night. 5,000. Yeah. Not only that, but he sleeps in his race suit the night before the race for a week. Yeah, yeah. really strange. <laughs> but uh, Parker, we'll see you out there. Try, try not to hit everything. Like, please, now that you've paid for a wrap, hopefully your car doesn't get destroyed. Green flag is in the starter's hand and we are ready to get the Bristol 1000 underway. We are green at Bristol. Let's get it, boys. Already fanning out three wide down the front straightaway and into turn one. Down to the bottom of the racetrack. It's crazy. Trying to use every 
inch of real estate that they can. We'll see how they sort it out up at the front of the field. I've already lost power steering. We're like four or five laps in. Brad's car is smoking. We're in a caution right now. Looks like Cletus was stopped on the track. Pace car is coming out, so to give the chance for the car to cool down a little bit, and we'll get back to it. Big one there. Pretty and it sure looks we like got a tire going down here. Either yeah, the, the yeah, the 577. Oh, and the 22 Connor Daly gets into the back of the 577, and we've got a caution on the speedway. You know what happens when dinosaurs crash? Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> We're probably like 10, 20 laps into the race, and my car's overheating. I was drafting the guys, so. After this caution a little bit. Pit area like he thinks he is. Let's check the replay here and man, man, images almost a mirror image of last year's wreck. Three wide leg. Three wide into the corner and thank Thank you for all of the updated safety equipment and thank you for those safer barriers. Uh, I mean, we saw it last week in Daytona in the cup race. There were a couple big licks in that one. And I know these drivers in the Crown Vicks here today at Bristol are thankful for that safer barrier. All right, we got our third restart coming up. The car cooled back down. But I think it's just from drafting cars in front of me. I'm not getting enough airflow to keep the car cool. Spot. And J.H. Diesel now under pressure from the six of one, and the doctor is in the house. There he is, up in the third, trying to get out in front of the number six. Braun getting sideways coming out of the corner, and a new second place car is Dr. Dr. Parker. Parker. Let's go. He is running on up in there. He's ready for it. Now we're making a move right now. Over uh, 50 laps, or super, yeah, a lot of, la a lot oh, of. About to have a new leader. New leader Not potentially. Exactly. Looks like Parker, Dr. Parker. He's got a good line. He was running that last time. Looks oh like my he God! We're in fourth place right now. The other three cars, I'm kind of letting them get ahead of me because I got a ton of room behind me, and I don't want to go through my tires. So I'm just trying to play it slow and keep my position and let them file it out serve my tires, wait for the one of them to make a mistake. So there was a big accident right in front of me. Looks like Deegan blew a tire and went into the wall, spun out, took out a bunch of guys behind us. Dang. Hope they don't think I did that because he definitely blew his tire right in front of me. Ty Braun leads him down into turn number one. As the field fans out, J.H. Diesel going to try to get to the back bumper of the seven of Dr. Parker. He's going to nab down the sixth spot. Here comes the seven of Dr. Parker to the inside of Daly. More give and take. It is all take here at the end. You saw the seven of Dr. Parker and the 78 of Kevin Smith making a little bit of contact and just keep it right here. This is where the battle for the lead is. Joiner all over the back bumper of Braun. Coming to the line this time by four laps to go. Joiner's going to cross him over down to the inside. They make contact. They're still leaning on each other. Joiner's going to take the lead. Time. We're currently sitting in third with about five laps to go. job Kevin amazing performance unfortunately it's uh, broken beyond repair dude hey you did an amazing job coming from the back all the way up front yeah, that was a really fun race like uh, time and okay 
All right, we're back to green. We'll check in with Kevin again here, but the battle is for the race lead. Three, door. three laps to go. Joseph Joyner on the inside. Ty Braun on the outside. They'll be coming to the start-finish line. Braun drifts up the racetrack. Joyner's got the race lead. Here comes Dr. Parker. Two laps to go. Braun going to drop to the inside, take a peek to the inside of the seven of Dr. Parker. Nothing doing there. Braun's not giving up on it. Braun's going to try to surge back as we've got just a lap and a half to go here, less than one mile around. Dr. Here Parker on the inside, coming for the white flag. Here we go, final time around Bristol Motor Speedway. Race fans on your feet, Joseph Joyner with the lead. He's on the outside, he leaves the inside line open. Here comes Dr. Parker. He'll have a chance to get the race lead one more time into three and four. Parker sends it in on the inside. Joyner's going to try to hang on at the line. It's going to be Joseph Joyner winning the Bristol 1000. What a race. Holy monkey nuts. That was a good race. What a finish. Dr. Oh, Parker going to come up one no. spot short. Ty Braun is going to round out the podium. J.H. Diesel in fourth. And Frank a in second place. Ah! All right, well, let's find our number two guy. There he is. There we go. There we go. <laughs> All right, well, up here, we've also got Dr. Parker. Second place finish, dude. Hey, you did pretty good out there. You were chasing him down, man. If you had, there we go. If you had three more laps, I think you would have been right there with him, dude. Were you using your nitrous there at the end? I didn't use my nitrous one time that entire race. Did you forget about it? I forgot about it. Oh, brother! Literally, brother! <laughs> All right, well, second place for you, dude. That's got to feel good. It does. It's, that's, that's big, but hey, listen, you don't get anything. So see you later. <laughs> All right, our boy Ty. Let's hear it for Ty. Come on. This close. So close. Guys, we got second place at the Bristol 1000. We were so close. They said we even had... They said I even had the fastest lap of the entire day on the last lap. And admittedly, I totally forgot about the nitrous like an idiot. So, hey, guys, what a great time. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, leave me a comment. See you in the next episode. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker's 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.